Hey there, I'm Cynthia, the Serenity Warrior Mama. I help mamas find serenity amidst the chaos of their spirited child. Today I want to talk about mamas because I think mamas are truly amazing. Whether they're working outside of the home or in it, they are the lifeblood of the family. The mama is the one who plays the role of the primary caregiver to the child. Now this role could also be played by a man if they're a stay-at-home dad or a single dad. But here are some things that a mama does for their child. They might get them up in the morning and get them going. They might feed them a good breakfast. They might take them to school. They might pick them up from school. They might help them with their homework, give them a snack while they're doing their homework, remind them to shower and brush their teeth, tuck them into bed at night, kiss their boo-boos when they get hurt, and answer some very tricky questions. I know my son just had the puberty class at school this past week, and I had to answer some very tricky questions. So if mamas are so amazing, how is a serenity warrior mama any different than a regular mama? So here are some key traits that a serenity warrior mama really encompasses that makes them just a little bit different than your typical everyday mama. So they have courage, they have confidence, they have empathy, they have respect, they have persistence, passion, and mastery of skill. So let's go through those things one at a time because I really wanna make sure that you understand what a serenity warrior mama is. So a serenity warrior mama is someone who has courage to look at what's not working and fix it. Now, it takes a lot of courage to realize that, okay, our children have this behavior, but we might actually be part of the problem. The way that we're interacting with our child and our two personalities come together, the synergy between those might not be a good thing. You might be really struggling right now because you're constantly in this battle with your child and having the courage to look at that and say, this is not working and fix it is huge. The second one is confidence. Am I making the right decisions for my child? This could be many different things, but the key things for our children are, am I making the right decisions around medicine for them? And am I making the right decisions around food for them? Am I giving them medicine? Do I feel good about it? Do I feel good about the type of medicine or the doctor that they're seeing? Do I feel good about the food that they're eating? Am I giving them the healthiest food possible? Am I helping their mental state with the food that I'm feeding them? The next one is empathy. Am I showing my child that I understand and really care about their problem? This one is so super important and one that took me forever to get right. I studied the Love and Logic books and I took a class and empathy was one of the key things that they talk about and I really struggled with it, really, really. Um, I was, I had that, I could say something that sounded like empathy, but the tone didn't quite match. Um, and so I think that the, a lot of the prompts that they give me just didn't work with my personality. It just, it wasn't who I, I was at the time. Um, and since then I've changed a lot. And I, I think those prompts would probably be easier to say today than they were all those years ago. Um, but that, that kind of goes hand in hand with the next one, which is respect. Am I treating my child with the respect that I would like as a person? This one is super important too. If you're not showing your child respect, they're not gonna give you the respect that you feel like you deserve. I'm sure that you've heard that your child's behavior is a mirror of your own. They pick up on the things that you do and they tend to behave in ways that you do. And sometimes we really don't like that. We don't like seeing that in our child because we don't like it in us and we don't like it in them. But we have a hard time controlling what's happening in us. So respect is super important. Treat them with respect and they will be so much more likely to treat you with respect as well. Even if they have behavior issues, this is still a big one. Persistence is the next one. Do I persist on my child's behalf? You're gonna need all kinds of persistence with a spirited child. If you're trying to change their food and what they eat, that's gonna take persistence. 
if you've been giving your child packaged food and candy and soda, and you one day say, sorry, no more soda, no more candy, I'm just gonna give you fruits and vegetables, that is gonna take a whole boatload of persistence. They are not gonna like that. They're going to rebel, probably for weeks. But if you can make it through those first two weeks, I tell you, your life will be different. It will be amazing. Something just as difficult is medication. If you choose to give your child medication, which medication are they gonna have? The doctor is gonna prescribe one. It may or may not work. You might have to try six different medications before you find one that works and the dose that works. That's gonna take a lot of persistence. If you need an IEP or a 504 from the school for your child, that is going to take a large amount of persistence. The school does not want to write all the documentation for an IEP or a 504 if it's not completely necessary. If your child really needs it, they will do it, but it's going to take persistence on your part. The next one is passion. Do I have passion to be the best mama that I can be? This one probably belongs in the beginning because it is the most important. If you don't decide that you want to be a better mom by having this passion that I'm talking about, you're never going to change that relationship with your child because you first have to decide before you can act. So this is really about having the passion to be that, the best mama that you can be. And the very last one is mastery of skill. Do I have the knowledge that I need to understand my child's issues? Now you may have a child who is undiagnosed right now and you just are thinking they're a spirited child. They may or may not have any particular diagnosis. And that's okay because there are plenty of parenting books out there about spirited children, um, strong-willed children. They, they come by many different names, but there are plenty of parenting books out there that you can read about how to give your child what they need to thrive in your home. But if your child already has a diagnosis, if they've got ADHD, if they've got ODD or autism, there are so many resources out there for you to learn about what that particular issue actually is in their brain, in their body, physically, emotionally, how it's affecting them and how you can help them. So all of those things are very, very important. And all of those traits make up a serenity warrior mama. So not only do they do all those things that we talked about before that an everyday mama does, but they also have all of these amazing traits where they're really, really going to bat for their child. They are doing everything they can within their power to make sure that their child has the best life they can possibly have given their circumstances. It took me many years of struggle, study, experimentation to become what I call a serenity warrior mama. And I don't want you to have to struggle like that. I want to help you shorten the learning curve so that you can bypass all that. You can make your path just a little bit straighter and just a little bit shorter. It doesn't have to be a struggle. You can learn from the tools and the strategies that I've used to help me with myself and my children. So with that, I'd like to offer you a free session to discuss your specific situation and needs. All you have to do is send me an email at info at what you seek is within.com or go to my homepage website, www.whatyouseekiswithin.com and click on the button that says, book your free serenity warrior mama session now. I'm so grateful we've crossed paths. Remember, you've got everything you need within you to be a great mama right now.